So if I should describe uh, my Prince Albert Fund project and the company I worked for, I would say that um, actually I, I did two things. And the first thing was uh, starting a new company in Toho, in, uh, in, in the capital, Lomé. Uh, it was a beverage company. Uh, so actually we sold um, juices and lemonades in plastic bags because cans are too expensive. So ev basically everyone could pay for such a bag of, of juice instead of just water. So that was what I did first in Togo. And then um, I also started a franchising company in uh, Senegal with a partner. It was also very nice because I had the opportunity to go to Dakar, uh, talk with the partner uh, and also launch the whole project to make uh, a lot of uh, publicity around it. And yeah, that was kind of the two main things that I worked on. Okay, so uh, the two actions that I'm most proud of um, probably will relate to the two projects I did. So the first one was starting up this whole new company in Lomé. Uh, so we had to hi we hired uh, kind of 40 people. Uh, we set up a sales strategy. We set up a production. Um, and uh, of course, there was also the daily business that should go on every day. So I'm quite proud of this, this company that we could run really uh, from day to day. And then on the other hand, in Dakar, um, for me, it was an accomplishment to work together with this partner because, yeah, I haven't seen him at all. I was a young girl. He was already uh, yeah, an experienced uh, person. And uh, together we were able to really start up this, uh, this French franchising. And, um, yeah, I also built a very good relationship with, with, with this partner. And uh, it was very meaningful to me uh, to work together with him and to make, yeah, to make it happen, let's see. Uh, there are a lot of stories. Uh, I think, um, well, I will maybe name just a few short ones. Uh, so for in Dakar, when we launched the product, it was actually during a fighting game um, a nation that was nationally broadcasted all over the all over the country with uh, our. Well, the name of uh, our, my company was Baraji, uh, or from the beverage. Um, and so ba Baraji was everywhere in the public. People were drinking it. Uh, the fighters were showing it in front of, of everyone. So it was really like very exciting to be there. Um, there was a lot of people on the streets, in the stadium. So it was a huge event. And, and I was, was sitting on, on the main tribune. So, uh, yeah, it was great to see there your work really in front of you. So that was one. Another one was so actually uh, when building the company, we had to do everything. So not only I hired persons, but we also needed to buy um, yeah, cars to, to transport. But yeah, buying cars in Togo or anywhere in Africa, it's not so easy. We had troubles with our visa. We, uh, there was uh, one day that it was raining so hard that all our cars were drowning. I mean, it was, everything was wet. Uh, it was almost in the company uh, even. So actually every day was just a big adventure. And um, you learn every day, you learn a lot about the culture, but also about the company, about the people you work for. And uh, yeah, it was uh, amazing. It has had a lot of impact, not only on my professional um, vision of life, but also my personal life. So um, I had, when I came back, I decided not to stay, but I, uh, I had a lot of opportunities uh, at other companies. So in that way, it helped me a lot to, uh, to, to build my career. On the other hand, it was not so easy for me to make a decision. Uh, or, or to choose a new challenge after this major challenge, after this major year, it was difficult to go on. Uh, in Belgium to something else. So um, I would say uh, PAF is really helping you to, to move forward in your career, but you also need to think, what do I want for myself? And this is something you develop during the year. What do I want for myself is a very difficult question and you should think a lot about it. So um, I would recommend the Prince Albert Fund because it gives you a chance to have an amazing experience. It is really, you cannot prepare for it. So you should not try to prepare for it. Um, it is something that will come to you. You should just take it as it comes. You, sh you should enjoy it. And um, yeah, it is a once in a lifetime.